Hello everyone, this is another episode of Investing with the Difference. We are going to talk about uh, what is happening in the EOS world. And uh, it was not a great uh, weekend. We started with uh, uh, early Saturday morning US time when we started hearing about uh, the EOS uh, coming to a halt, uh, which is uh, something which we uh, everybody was shocked about it. I think there's a lot of news going around. So let us talk about what really happened and uh, how do we, do we interpret this and what uh, what is the meaning of uh, the all this news around what really happened here so first of all this is one of the medium post which uh, eos block producers have come together and especially eos new york which has uh, been very very active in communicating to all the eos community and uh, they have created a very nice post in all the languages uh, like a korean chinese and english and uh, they updated that what really happened so at 9:56 utc the main net halted uh, and immediately within five minutes all the block producers started uh, talking to each other over the conference calls and within one hour they made the decision that uh, how they are going to diagnose this problem and they come to a came to a solution uh, for how to unpause uh, what we are hearing is that uh, Block.1 was actively involved in debugging. Dan Larimer was uh, himself present in this call trying to help this uh, block producers. And uh, within like two to three hours, there was a patch available from Block.1. Block and then they uh, patched up the chain. And I think within four hours or so, uh, uh, at 1328 uh, UTC, uh, they were able to come to a conclusion of how they are going to fix it. Uh, ultimately, at 14.13 UTC, they got the new release and uh, by 14.48, which is uh, exactly around 4 hours uh, or uh, 5 hours or so, let's say, uh, after the issue started, the chain was back live. So it was a 4 to 5 hour of outage. Now let us try to interpret what really this means. So this, as I've been saying all along, yesterday or day before yesterday, on uh, was the first day of mainnet launch so this is a new software which is starting there will be bugs uh, while i would say it is not a good sign because uh, this test code was tested very well they had been running test nets for a long time uh, it's a very basic issue of uh, chain uh, freezing they have to maybe uh, release more details of what really happened what i'm hearing is this issue was introduced in one of the latest release. So this was not an issue earlier. While they were trying to fix the other issues and there was a new release which they waited for when they launched for mainnet, that introduced this bug. Now, software bugs are common. There are a lot of cases, even the very, very mature software like AWS or uh, you must have heard about Netflix uh, freezing for some time, for a few minutes or a few hours. Uh, because AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, that had failed. That's happened a couple of years back. Um, these and those are those were very very mature services. So this is not a big deal, as long as uh, this was identified as a fix, uh, which uh, they are able to really root cause it. My bigger concern is that uh, there's a lot of hype around EOS right now. A lot of people are trying to launch uh, big applications. What we need to understand is. Uh, how this uh, whole process is working uh, with block uh, block producers how they are going to create a communication channel i am still hearing some news that uh, some block producers are still not able to uh, come online after this fix was done so there are a few question marks which are still there whether everybody got involved whether everybody got it updated uh, because definitely there are some block producers who are it's a 24 hour uh, uh, blockchain and uh, some of them may be more available at a certain time versus others and also in terms of how well they're communicating with each other so this will define the future of i think eos and the, how it uh, works while what happened is uh, on the price front we had a big fall like almost five percent fall you see from uh, uh, this is what i'm referring to from 16 000, uh, 0016724 to almost uh, uh, almost 5% I would say but since then uh, it had recovered after it, the news was out that uh, the fix is identified and uh, the chain is live. Now from an investor perspective I think you don't have to worry I would say uh, it is not a big deal but I think overall as a EOS lovers I think we need to really question 
how this go this is going to be like it's a going to be a continuous update process block dot one is going to release a lot of uh, new patches as they identify but uh, they need to figure out a way to roll out to all the block producers even those who are not in top 21 because uh, these top 21 block producers are, are uh, uh, selected by voting and you have to give equal chance to everybody so the good thing is they have now come have put together a telegram channel which is mainnet status and uh, they're trying to update uh, on that which is uh, another good initiative uh, I hope anybody can join this so this is currently it's a public channel uh, but I think in terms of how they are going to communicate uh, that is still a mystery which is being questioned uh, in the meanwhile what I'm hearing is that every PDR was preparing the airdrop as we all are aware and uh, they have actually uh, now said that they are going to do it once the chain comes online and it's pretty exciting now that uh, the chain is now online and we are able to uh, really make transactions so one thing i would like to say is uh, uh, while we you know why you do not have to worry because there's a lot more going for eos so while every pdr is one thing which we all are excited about i would like to share more details uh, about the toolkits which are coming along so general os uh, this is uh, another block producer candidate uh, they have actually created a very simple web-based tool where you can log in with scatter and when you're logging in with scatter you can create your username uh, just by entering your public key and it will validate or your account name and it will validate your identity using scatter and then you can actually create new account names uh, and uh, that's how uh, it's very very simple form anybody can do it and not only that you can actually stake or unstake your tokens you can uh, act part participate in the name bidding so what is name bidding uh, so name bidding is uh, that currently you can create usernames which are 12 character long and uh, name bidding is allowing you to bid for names like EOS so, which is currently the highest bid uh, name anybody who wants to use EOS as their username they can uh, bid more than 670 EOS and you will be uh, you have a chance of uh, getting that and uh, the next popular name is game which is all the way down to 10 EOS so I would say that uh, this is uh, some of these names which people are bidding for and uh, this all funds will be used for covering inflation uh, and this is uh, a very good thing to do actually because this uh, uh, this will create some funds for the block producers which they can use and not and avoid adding inflation and they can counter the inflation which is built into the system. So I think again, as I said, the tools are coming up. It's a very, very good thing. And another thing which I would like to highlight is uh, I'm still using uh, the tool, which is, uh, uh, for example, this is the, uh, the Graymas tool. And you can actually now they have, while they supported the voting, they also support a wallet application where you can send tokens and there's a transfer token and there's a stake token uh, status. So you can go and actually uh, start unstaking or staking your tokens. So this is the vote interface. So if you have not used it, you can simply select uh, the chain, the block producers. And uh, if you make any changes, if you've already voted, you can submit it again. On the other hand, in the wallet application, we tried sending tokens to another account. And the biggest thing which we are happy about is uh, the chain is active right now. We were able to transfer token within like a one second. There is no need for waiting for confirmation. Everything happened very fast. And that is what is the strength of EOS. Uh, and uh, we are getting more and more excited about it. You can, again, as I said, you can change your tokens. You can simply, it's a very nice tool to stake or unstake tokens if you're interested. You can send the tokens to anybody you want. So this is a, a pretty decent working wallet uh, with a lot of functionality of voting, staking, unstaking, and transferring token to account between accounts. Uh, so I would say you can use this Grimas tool. Uh, all these things are already coming up. And uh, what we are hearing is that there will be another hardware wallet coming out uh, from Block.1. Uh, also, I read somewhere that uh, there is a lot of progress made on the Ledger Nano and Treasure support. Uh, and Ledger Nano is expected to come out first uh, before anything else. And EOS New York has been working on it for quite some time. Um, so a lot of activity happening. I think uh, EOS will become more and more usable. And as every PDA is ready to port uh, their uh, platform on EOS, uh, and they have already talking about uh, airdropping immediately, um, I think this will create a lot more excitement for EOS. 
we hope that uh, more issues don't prop up and uh, we don't have any more uh, such uh, minute halts because this is not a good advertisement for EOS and especially if they want to build uh, more and more of the apps more and more uh, people to be encouraged to use EOS versus Ethereum uh, as I explained to you there are a lot of benefits of EOS I think what we need to figure out is how reliable this chain is some people are going to now wait for some more time for this chain to run for example a few weeks uh, without any hiccups before uh, they start uh, really doing airdrops and uh, starting running any reliable apps on uh, this platform so in summary i would say nothing to worry about while it was a little bit of setback this is expected it's a software world uh, do not get worried about it but uh, do we do need to understand the challenges of a new program of a new blockchain and uh, while there's a lot of hype and the price is already pretty high uh, we need to be ready to see this ups and downs uh, that is what i would just uh, say while there is there's still the best thing about eos are still intact uh, and you need to always think about what eos is bringing and whenever there's something new coming there will be challenges there will always be some uh, teething pains so i would say do not worry about the fud you will keep hearing about things focus on the positives and hopefully uh, everything will settle down quickly so in terms of uh, what is coming next i would say uh, we will do another session next week when we are going to talk about uh, more tools uh, how do you what is the safety of your wallets i would still say that if your tokens are staked keep them staked don't try to unstake them uh, because that is the safest way because you're you're locking the whole system for three days and uh, till you build your confidence on uh, more and more tools uh, i would say we like uh, this Gremas tool we are getting more and more support from block producers who are suggesting that this tool is safe uh, but if you are still waiting for a more reliable wallet uh, please make sure you do not unstake your tokens and that will keep your tokens safe uh, so that is uh, our recommendation and all the best uh, and we will keep watching how EOS is performing while uh, we are still excited about the every period progress and their airdrop coming soon uh, and also some other dApps which are being announced on a daily basis. So we will do another episode soon on uh, what is the immediate uh, dApps which are coming and how it will really benefit uh, EOS ecosystem. So thanks again for joining. Please uh, press like and subscribe if you are not already a subscriber and uh, share this video with everybody who is still trying to understand how uh, this weekend is turning out for EOS and uh, what to expect in the near future. Bye bye for now. Talk to you next time.